As you can see, the low cost electric bike bill is pretty much finished. I had to buy some new batteries because the batteries I had just weren't holding a charge, but the pair of those was a penny under £25, so. And they're 7.2 amp hour, so I've got a little bit more extra power out of them. The frame is painted in NATO green with a clear lacquer. The chain guard's gunmetal grey. It's got a built in 1.5 watt solar panel which charges the batteries through this. In the down position, it measures. The volts going up the panel directly, but because we're in the shade, it's not showing anything at the moment in time. There's also a little, little status LED there that flashes to show that it's charging. Let's turn it on. There's a master on switch under there. And then that button there to make it go. I can do this one handed, but just uh, there you go. Just knock it off just in case. I think I'm gonna weld the sprocket onto the motor output shaft because it's it came loose once, so I think the um, the grub screw is not enough to hold it against the, the flat on the shaft. Um, it's also quite a bit of slack in the motor drive chain. It's not enough to take out a link to shorten it, so I think it's going to be a half link. Uh, I can't push it any further back in the dropouts because the pedal chain's already a little bit on the tight side. Um, total cost so far, including the batteries, new tyres, about £45. I already had the um, solar panel and this um, LED meter. These are around about three quid from China. Um, the switch on the back is about £2. So yeah, you could probably build one of these for around 50 60 quid if you've already got a bicycle. Currently running at 12 volts because it's a 12 volt motor, um, but it does produce enough power for pedal assistance. Although it's not enough really to push you along on your own if you weigh over 10 stone. Um, if you're quite light, it should be fine. There we go. Thanks for watching.